everybody welcome back to the channel uh this video wasn't planned at all i updated guild wars 2 logged in and i saw the new lunar festival so i went over to check it out how was it mm, well short I don't ever recall seeing uh, or participating in a Lunar Festival in Guild Wars 2 before. So I'm not sure if it was just launched this year or if it's been here before. However, for me personally, this festival was really boring and here is why. There are only two major activities in this festival, which is Dragon Ball Arena, which is PvP type activity and Endless Celestial Challenge that simply just rotates events over and over that involve uh, various celestial beings involved in it and you just run around in a circle doing whatever the event wants you to do. It's actually quite confusing at first until you kind of get into the groove of things, but overall it becomes stale pretty quickly. There's also a race, which is great if you're into that type of stuff. I'm not, and it's because it's technically a timed event, and I don't normally enjoy timed quests or events, etc. Which also automatically goes for the two adventures you can participate in, which is Firecracker, Lighting 1 and 2. If you like those type of stuff uh, and those types of activities, uh, in the games uh, then you might actually have quite a bit of fun with it activities aside i feel like there is not enough atmosphere in this event despite having a solid cultural influence from both real life and cantha the festival is dry and overall uneventful uh, region of cantha bolsters a rich history that predates even guild wars one and i feel like a lot more of this festival could be tied to its origins and also, in my opinion, this festival could be a great tool of connecting Guild Wars 1 and Guild Wars 2 together through bringing up historical figures such as Shiro Tagachi and Master Togo, which were both prominent characters in Guild Wars 1 factions. Both of those guys would serve as nostalgic value to Guild Wars 1 veteran players as well as help educate newer players about Guild Wars 2's predecessor game and uh, more about lore and history of Guild Wars in general. For example, Shiro Tagachi could be used in a burning of the effigy type event, as if keeping Shiro's spirit locked away. It could be some a sort of public boss encounter, maybe in the pavilion, for example. Devs could also introduce a more traditional uh, e event or festival. It's called Taoist art, paper art of some kind that they burn them um, during various festive celebrations and funerals, and see if somehow it could be tied to Master Togo, Nika, and the heroes of Cantha that took down Shiro the first time around, which is Saint uh, Victor Suhelzer and Archimoras. Devs could also make a cooking competition of some sort, do a lion dance parade on a timer event, for example, with Canthan and Crichton royalty figures being present, signifying the unity of two nations, and make it so that people could participate in it somehow. There is also Lantern Festival in real life during Chinese New Year that is usually takes place on the 15th day of Chinese New Year that could also be incorporated into the Lunar Festival and make into some sort of event. If this is the first Lunar Festival in Guild Wars 2, then it was really rushed and the devs didn't really put too much thought or passion into it in my opinion. I really hope they add more for it next year and really turn it into a fantastic event it can be decorate the city maybe some more and make it more festive throughout the city not just one tiny corner especially since they did such a great job and they have been doing a great job with both halloween and christmas events so far that they those events have mad vibes and atmosphere to it so yeah it's a really short video just you know going over what i've seen my quick impressions about it and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below how you feel about lunar festival i have more videos on the way i am currently working on temtem first look as well as guild wars 2 living world season 3 review thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time cheers guys